Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel, Drawing with Miss Moore. I am Miss Moore, and today we have a special artist with us. Can you please introduce yourself, yourself and tell us what we're going to be doing today? Hi, my name is Miss Lulu. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a 3D paper bedroom. I can't wait. This is exciting. All you what are you going mean, to need is um, whatever construction paper that you have. You can also use um, paper, white paper and just color it whatever color you want. Or you can just keep it white. Um, you are going to need regular white paper, some scissors, some glue sticks, or if you don't have glue sticks, you can also use tape. Is this glue okay, Miss Lulu? Yes. A pen, pencil, or marker, whatever that you have, like I have this marker. You can use whatever that you, that you have. Um, and are you ready? I am ready. Let's do this. Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna start with is our bed. So let's get all of our stuff moved out of the way so we can start making our bed. Except for white paper, because we're gonna need that. Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna start with is if you would like, you can make a little paper character because I made one. I'm gonna put her down on, on the paper so I can like measure, measure her and, and there we go. So now I can start making our paper bed. And if you do not have a character, if you do not want to make a character, that's okay. Yep. Oh, another thing is, if you hear my, dar my dog barking, um, that's her, so it's okay. So we're doing a kind of square shape for the bed, yes? Yes. And then we're going to make like some pillows, but they're gonna be square shaped and little. Got it. Okay. Then we're going to put a line underneath our pillows. And then we're going to make kind of the same shape, but just on the line, because this is going to be our blanket for our bed. So we can use this line right here as a way of knowing when to stop. Yep. And is it okay if it's not perfect? Yes. Because being an artist, it's not about being perfect. You're just doing the best you can and having fun with it, right? Yep. Um, I think we should color it in right now because if we cut it out, it might be a little hard. Okay. Now let's color it in. You can use whatever pattern you want. Yep and whatever colors you like. Mm -hmm. Let me get mine. Oh, just in case I didn't mention it before, you will need some colored pencils or whatever markers that you have.
I'm ready when you are, Miss Lulu. Okay, let me just do this last one. Okay, next we're gonna cut out both of these. Our scissors. For our viewers that are not able to use scissors, you might want to ask for your mom and dad to help you. Yes, and make sure your scissors are pointed away from you and not are pointed towards you. That is very dangerous if you have it pointing towards you. Be very careful, in other words. Just take your time. Ready when you are. I am ready. Okay. So this time we're going to need our glue sticks and our bed and our sheets. Now this part is important for you to remember and you have to be very close so you can follow the directions. You're gonna glue the bottom and the sides, but not the top. And then, stick it onto your bed. And for those- In a minute, I will show you why you, um, why you shouldn't glue it on the top. And for those of you using a glue bottle like I am, you want to be careful to use only a little bit of glue. Yes. Not too much. Okay. So, once you have your bed ready, if you have a character and you've made your character, you can actually stick your character right inside and she can go night night right in her bed and she'll stick in there and this is what it looks like and then what we can do let me just get my character out of her bed hold on okay got her out of bed we can glue the back of our bed so we can stick it onto our construction paper. And then I think I'm gonna stick my bed like right here on the construction paper. And this is what mine looks like. Let me just get it the screen so you can see it. And you can get whatever color construction paper that you would like. Next. We are going to want to have some more paper so we can make our rug that can go in our room. You are also going to need your pen, pencil, or marker, like a black marker or a pencil. 
Um, okay. We're going to draw whatever shape we want. And I think I'm gonna draw a circle this time. Like that kind of a circle. I think I'm going to draw a rectangle rug. That's a good choice. And then I think I'm gonna color mine, but I have to get my colored pencil or my marker. I think that's going to be my rug. And then, when you're done, you're going to cut it out. The same exact thing that we did um, with our bed, we're going to cut it out. Okay. Your rug looks like a sand dollar. <laughs> That's a type of seashell you might find on the beach. And here's what my bed looks like. I mean, not my bed, my rug looks like. Once you're done, you can take the glue and you can just rub it all over. And then you're going to want your construction paper that has your bed on it and glue it where you want it to go. You can make glue it right there. This is mine. I glued it right next to the bed so she can get out and step on a warm carpet. <laughs> I drew mine at the end of my bed. That looks cool. Thank you. Yours does too. Next, we're going to want a little space. So I recommend getting a new paper because right now we're going to be making our closet. Now this closet might be a little hard, but it's okay. Because we're gonna work through it, right? Yep. If it's hard for you, that's okay. Just keep trying and trying and then you'll get better. So make a square. Well, I guess it's not that hard, but it's kind of hard. Don't worry. We're both here to help you out. Yep. And if you need a lot of help, you can always ask a grown up for help. Then once you've done that, you're going to make this kind of a line that's going out. If you if you don't have any room, you can always like do a line between your thing and you can always do what we're gonna do. And then you're going to do this. Okay. 
and do it on both sides. Okay, next we're going to want our scissors and we're going to cut it out. Of course, if you want to color it, that's okay too. Once you are done, you are going to want to bend it on the line. And it right here. Bend it on the other side. Then I'm just gonna do something that I learned. I'm going to draw, let me see, some handles. Sorry if you hear my dog because she's walking around everywhere. <laughs> now, if you can, <laughs> you might hear her drinking. We have a guest dog on our show today. <laughs> hello. Say hello. <laughs> okay, you're not gonna say hello because you're not in a good mood today. <laughs> That's okay, too, little one. So, what do we do once we have our door? Let me guess. Do we glue it on the construction paper? Yep. Because we don't want our stuff to go everywhere and like move everywhere. We want them to stay there. In other words, if you find that your door, your, your closet door, your bed or your rug is moving around, you might need to add just a tad bit more glue and that's okay. Just be careful not to add too much that is sliding around, especially for your bag, because you want your little sheet to have enough of a hole in it that you can put your little character in it if you want to make a character. Yeah. Okay, and that's all that we are going to do today, you can add some decoration if you want, which we're gonna do. is going to look different depending on where you chose to place your things and what you chose to place in your room. Yes. But this is the idea of how to make your 3D bedroom. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Ms. Lulu, for showing us how to do this really fun project. 
You're welcome. And if you guys like what you see, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel and there will be more art stuff to come. Once again, thank you, Miss Lulu, for coming in and helping us with this project. And see you guys later. Bye. Bye.